Yan Chi. I am a WSET Level 3 certified. I'm also a certified WSET educator and I am the head of quality here at winery.ph. Today, I want to talk to you about bad wine. Everybody has probably come across bad wine. It's either it tasted weird or it was too sour or sometimes um, it could have also given you a bad reaction. Uh, there are several causes for that. Sometimes it's just really a wine that's not your taste or it's not the style of wine that you like. But sometimes it could also be due to wine faults. So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys to police your own wines to make sure that they are still good to drink by using a very simple thing, your senses of sight, smell, and if you dare, your sense of taste. What are wine faults? It is not when you drink a wine and then all of a sudden it's not normal for that great variety or for wines that come from that region to taste that way. It's also not when a wine seems off in terms of color, aroma, or flavor. When you say a wine is faulty, that means there is something chemically wrong with the wine that it is already not fit for human consumption. Um, don't get me wrong, there is nothing dangerous about drinking a wine that is faulty, but it's just not a pleasant experience because it is just bad. It doesn't taste good and who wants that, right? You can already know that the wine is going bad just by looking at it. So I'm going to be pouring out some samples here, not drinking them, we'll be looking at them, <laughs> of how you can tell that a wine is already faulty just by looking at it. Typically, a wine without faults should be clear. Huh? And a huge sign that something is wrong is when the wine is cloudy or hazy. Let me see which one I think I've already poured the sample. Yeah, so this one, for example. It can mean that the fermentation has restarted in the bottle. It could also be a sign of bacterial infection. Parang tao lang, alam niyo yun. And sometimes it could mean that the fluid or the liquid has also been tainted with iron. Uh, your wine being hazy or cloudy is very different from when wine has sediment in it. Because sediment is usually... It happens naturally when a winemaker decides not to filter or fine his wine to make sure that the aromas and the flavors are intact. Sediment also can occur when a wine is too old or older than usual. So when you see sediments, don't panic. It's not the same as your wine being cloudy or hazy. And that is perfectly safe for consumption. But cloudiness, it's a different matter altogether. You don't want that in your wine. Another thing is bubbles, okay? If your wine is supposed to be sparkling and it has bubbles in it, that's a good thing. But if it's a still wine and there's bubbles, um, it's definitely uh, not a good thing. Because chances are, just with uh, a wine being hazy or cloudy, secondary fermentation has already started in the bottle and you are actually, uh, without meaning to, making sparkling wine. The good news is you have sparkling wine. The bad news is it's not going to be very good sparkling wine. So bubbles in the wine, not a good thing. And then color, okay? Normally wine, if it's white, should have very, very specific colors, either straw or yellow or gold. If it's red, it should be ruby, garnet, or um, purple. In the case of this wine, it's already brown. Okay. And tinges of brown naturally happens when a wine ages. But if it happens in a wine that's a little under three years old, that could be a red flag. Oxidation can happen during the wine making process or actually during storage of wine. So storage is very, very important. In white wines, uh, discoloration can occur because of light strike or UV damage. This is when your white wine is exposed to too much UV rays or fluorescent lighting and the wine just becomes much darker. These flaws are usually the sign of bad storage so you can avoid them by making sure that you keep your wines in a very very dark place of your home. If you're going to open a bottle of wine and you're not going to finish it, make sure that you reseal it properly and hide it in the coolest and the darkest part of your home. But if you encounter these flaws in a newly opened bottle, I suggest that you contact your wine store. You can actually also tell that the wine is going bad just by smelling it. There are smells or aromas that you like to smell in wine and then there are those smells that you don't want to smell in wine. And I'm going to give you those red flags today. First, vinegar, acetone, or sauerkraut. This is another sign of oxidation. See, oxygen is really not wine's friend unless you're doing it only to air it out. This is also known as volatile acidity. So what does that mean? This is because your wine is exposed to too much oxygen and it starts converting sugar and alcohol into acetic acid. Second, rotten eggs and dirty drains. 
Okay, this is uh, a sign of reduction. Sometimes winemakers put, put too much sulfur dioxide to maintain the freshness in the wine. And this is one of the causes of it smelling like rotten eggs. This can easily be solved by letting the wine decant or air out for a bit. But if it still smells like rotten eggs after decanting it, then it's a no-no. Third, wet newspaper, old cardboard, and wet dog. This is very common. This is a sign that your wine has been tainted by cork from when a natural cork is exposed to certain sterilizers. The fourth would be wet wool sweater or amoy basang damit, you know. Uh, that is a sign of light strike and very commonly found in white wines like Pinot Grigio in Champagne and also in Sauvignon Blanc. Now, fruit, jam, and nuts. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, this wine has that. But sometimes it is too much that you know that the wine has been matterized or maybe exposed to too much heat. So make sure that when you store your wine, it is always in a place where there is very, very little temperature fluctuations, if any. Again, it's all about proper storage and keeping your wine uh, in, a, in an environment where you are sure it will stay good to drink for as long as you haven't, uh, as you haven't opened it yet. Okay, so we've, we've done sight, smell, and now we go to taste. If you're brave enough to taste the wine, um, then that is probably going to be putting the nail on the coffin. That's it. If it tastes bad, then you throw it. So I'm going to try, okay? All for the sake of education. Um, don't worry. It's not dangerous to drink bad wine, as I will demonstrate. It's just really not a good experience. Ugh. Okay, um, when you get sharp, sour flavors like vinegar, <laughs> obviously the wine has gone bad. Please just don't drink it anymore. Apart from the sour, vinegary taste, sometimes you could also get very, very sharp spiciness or heat in your mouth the way you would feel if you like take a bite of a wasabi. Or when you get these super, super caramelized, um, cooked, Caramel applesauce flavors. It sounds good when it's a dessert, but with wine, it's really off. It's a no-no. And those are just three things. But again, don't panic if you've actually drank wines like these because it's not bad for you or it's not dangerous. It's just not a good or a pleasurable experience. At Winery PH, we go to great lengths to make sure that every wine that you order from us is good. We don't want you to have any of these problems that I talked about. So we do regular tastings of the wines in our portfolio to make sure that they're still drinking well, especially when we're putting them on sale. We store our bottles in optimal climate-controlled environments in our warehouse. And when we do send out the wines to you, we make sure that we pack them in insulated boxes that have also some shock absorbers to prevent exposing the bottle to heat or damage. On the off chance that we miss out on these faulty wines, please help us help you. Because if you tell us, we will fix it. If you're not satisfied, we can either refund you or replace the bottle with the same bottle or a different bottle of equal or higher value to the winery.ph wine quality guarantee. You can find out more about this in our website. We've left a link in the description box below for you to check out. Thanks for watching everyone. If you learned something new today, please leave us a like. And if you want more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you will get notified every time we have new content. Till then, to the next drink. Cheers.